Hello guys, so in the last class we learned how to create database and manipulate table. Today we are going to learn how to back up and restore database. If you missed the last class, I will put it on the description. So let's get started. Now we are going to use workbench. Look at the workbench icon. No matter what you are using, if you are using Ubuntu, there is this workbench icon. If you are using Macbook, there is this workbench icon. Now I will have to click on this workbench. It will open for me. Look at this local instance. It depends. You might have password on your own. You might not have. But me, I have password. So I will just click on it and enter my password and say OK. Now it has opened for me. What I want to do is I want us to create a backup of this employment. This employment database. I want us to create a backup and restore this backup. That is, we export it and we re import it. So let's get started. If you are on Workbench, look at this administration that is here. Administration, it's on schema. Before just look at this administration. If you look at this administration, you will see data export, data export. Or you see data you see data import and restore but the first thing we are going to do is to back up you can also see data export from server if you click on server you will see data export right click on this data export whether you click here or you click here is the same thing once you click on this data export it will bring for you object selection for you to be able to select the database you want to back up so now i am selecting employment after selecting employment, I'll say export to save contain file. It depends on how you want to how you want this backup to look. Do you want it to back up table by table or you want it to back everything up on a single file? For me, I want to back it up on a single file. So I'll say export to save contain file. I'll say create dump. In a single transaction if I want this export to be in folder that is each one file one table one file one table one file one table I will do export to dump project folder but what I want to do is to export to a self-contained file I want it to be a single file and I can also name my database that I want to back up So I can actually name the database I want to back up. Name the database employment backup. Alright, then select look at the table that's inside this employment. I will see dump stop procedures and functions. Then there should be an export option here but if you are not seeing it just go to export progress and you see start export first be sure to know the directory where you are storing your backup i'm storing my inside document inside dumps then employment backup.sql so go to export progress and start export say continue so this export is done so if we go to documents and we we'll go to dumps see employment backup so this is that database that we backed up Let's look at it sql file so that's it the next thing we are going to do is to learn how to restore database to restore it back to a particular database first we let us create a database where we will restore that database. Say create employment, create database, employment, restore. So let's just do this. When you do this, do this look at it we've created a database called employment restore if you refresh here you see employment restore 
but if you view this database you see that it is empty there is no table inside so we are going to restore this employment backup that we did inside this database what are we going to do first you can go to administration and click on data import or restore second you can also go to the server if you go to the server you will see data import so click here data import and restore select you know it's we exported self contained file right so we are importing self contained file select self import from self contained file go to where you store that that backup that employment backup look at it select it back remember we are trying to restore it select it back select the schema the database where you want to restore it inside employment restore right click on import progress and say start import start import so once you click on start import look at it it has imported that database that content of that database inside this employment restore so if we go to employment restore you remember there's nothing in this place before but when we refresh look that employee table has appeared now every single thing in this employment you can find in this employment restore thank you i hope you're able to enjoy what we just did import export database backup and restore using my sql workbench please remember to subscribe to our channel like i said there was a tutorial on how to create and manipulate database that i did before i'll put a link on the description have a nice day